gang, it's your girl Desiree and I'm back with another video. And today, me and my friend Devin is doing a mukbang, but she already started eating without me. My baby, I'm hungry. It's cool, no big deal. We got some, well I already ate one of mine, but. I ate like three. <laughs> we got some empire wings, and we got some crawfish right here. And I'm not wearing gloves this time, so y'all can stop coming for me in the comments. Yes, they was coming for me in the who comments eat, about who eats crawfish with gloves on. I was trying not to mess up my nails. I had just gotten done. If you got your leg, it shouldn't matter. Still, I don't want to mess up my nails. Crawfish with gloves on. Mmm, come on, bro. Miguel. <laughs> so today, we're gonna basically talk about how we met. And how long we've been friends. We've been friends since sixth grade. Sixth grade to now. So we've been a long time. Long time. But I wanna tell y'all a funny story on how we met. It wasn't a good approach how we met, but I'm first bad. things first. I'm not a bad person. Long story short, Devin mom knew my mom. And did my mom hair for years before we even really knew each other. And then we wanted to go up to the same middle school. And I met her because what'd you do? Nothing. Tell me how you went. Nothing. We Bear, you know what you did. Okay. We was I don't know why we was beefing at the time, but uh I don't know. Like, she was in my spot at recess. Well, whatever you call it in middle school. And I moved her backpack and just No, she didn't move it. She threw my backpack on the she ground and I was like what happens, I moved it to the rocks. No, she she you lying, bruh. She threw my backpack on the ground. I came and I was like, what you threw my backpack on the ground for? She was like, because it was in my way. It was in my spot. I was like, bitch. <laughs> like be in my spot then. You know what I'm saying? So I I went home and I you know, I, I let it go. And I was like, whatever, fuck her. You know. We was beefing. She ain't my friend anyway. And when I went home and I told my mom, I was like, you wouldn't believe what this girl did to me at school today. And I told her. And she was like, what was, um, she asked me like who it was. And I told her, she said, oh no, she made a phone call. And, she, and then come to find out. Yeah. We had no you. choice but to be cool because my mom was like, oh no, y'all gotta be cool. I, I know that we go way back. And I was like, <sighs> So then we became friends and been friends ever since. But I wish she would throw my shit on the ground. Now I'd be like, eh. we broke up a couple of times, but we just can't get rid of each other. No, we it, it, it just ain't gonna happen. Like, mm -mm. period. Ain't nobody gonna run our friendship. No. We had a few tests, but like we've been we've been thugging it ever since. She a little thrown off, but I put up with it. Cause right. I love her. I'm up with I know you ain't talking. I'm an angel. Baby, I know you ain't talking. I'm an angel. Don't do me. Baby, please. But yeah, that's how we met. So, Devin know everything. My first everything, my anything that happens in my life. Even if she try not to tell me, she still end up telling me. End up. Yeah. Some stuff I don't even want to tell her, but then I be like, I go in the mommy mode. Yeah, she's like the mom of the friendship, like for sure. And I'm younger than you. I know. How'd that work? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it worked. It worked for us. True. Oh, this shit's so good, y'all. Y'all ever want some good wings in Baton Rouge, Louisiana? Empire wings. And you gotta get the flavor of OG. Is it that what it's called? OG? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Shout out to V. Mm-hmm. I nigga. I'm breaking my diet and everything. Okay. And then if you want some good crawfish, you gotta go to Port Allen. It's a um a corner store called Quick and Handy. We gotta get daiquiris from where we get daiquiris from? What's that place? I don't know. Um, around the corner. Around the corner from the crawfish place? Not delirious daiquiris, but what is the name of it? I don't know the little thing I'm not calling. I don't know, but it's good. I don't know, but it's, everything is good. So we literally went to Port Ellen and in Baton Rouge to get food. I was, I'm visiting. I gotta get all the good stuff before I go home. 
Yeah, yeah Devin lives in Lake Charles, so every time she come to visit me, I got to eat so bad. I got to get your power wings, though. Mm -hmm. Got to. It's a given. And I normally don't eat like this, and I live here, but when she come, I eat bad all the time. I'm a foodie. Can you help it? I keep telling her she needs to start her own channel and cook and stuff because Devin can really cook y'all like we was on live the other day and Devin had made these um chicken thighs but she did like a special sauce or whatever she was rolling mm. with some ranch potatoes and asparagus she was so good. everybody that ate could not only eat one plate Everybody had two plates. Everybody had to go back for seconds. That's how you know this shit is good. So comment down below. Whenever you you and your friends y'all go out to eat or y'all going to get something to eat, like what's one of y'all favorite spots to go to and what city you from? So that way, whenever we go and visit, we can, we go, can go try. Because like every time me and Devin go out of town, we looking for like one of the best spots. Like when we went to Miami last summer, we can't find no good food out there. Like, no, they wings, they you wings was not all that. But you wasn't a good friend because you only got yourself something to eat. I was too drunk to eat, but she ain't ordered me no food. How'd that go? When right. she drunk, I order her food all the time. You talking about that time you was in the car sleep? Yeah, you should have had me a to go box or saved me some of your well, see, or something. This Y'all get me dirty. And man, no. give me them uh, barbecue wings. That shit smell like straight sugar. <laughs> Hold on. No. Let me explain. Why I didn't get her there? Don't, don't believe her. I didn't enjoy my own food, so why would I get her some shit that's nasty? You should have got, got me something. This shit was atrocious. I didn't finish my food. That's what they all say when they don't get their best friend on wings at the wing spot. After her friend is drunk because we found $30 uh, open bar. I got my 30 work. I ain't lying. We was told up. What? I don't know how we made it. So from the flow up. That was an interesting trip though. From the beginning to the end, that was, I don't know. We need to redo I, I didn't feel like I got to do everything I wanted to do in no. Miami. We had some good points, but we could have definitely did more. Let me say we is missing one person in the trio, but he live in Houston, so yeah. that's why y'all don't see him, but that is like a part of the Three Musketeers. Definitely. His name is Matt. That's our other best friend, a guy. And no, he's not gay. <laughs> That's but, just our best friend. And I wish somebody would say something about it. That might good be good. <laughs> Calm down, boo. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to take the, the big bag. Why? Because. We can eat out of both bags. Oh. Um, okay. I don't know where to put the little shells in. Look, let's put it in here. So, we know that we need to eat out. Oh, we need to we know that we're about to eat some crawfish. Yeah, I finished my six feet. Me too. I am all good or whatever. Don't do my boy. They good. I ain't better than my daddy crawfish, but they good or whatever. I ain't gonna lie. Good for out here. The best crawfish out here. That could be true. That could be true. I have been to a few places, baby. They wasn't hitting it. One thing I can honestly say, like, I didn't had a lot of friends in the past that has came into my life and just did not make the cut. Like, and what's so crazy is every little new friend that would come into the circle, she do not like. And I, I would be like, man, is it because Devin is just jealous? Is she stubborn? Because, like, I'm a she, Capricorn, so I'm naturally stubborn. She want me all to herself sometimes, and... Uh-uh. Yeah, sometimes you do. No, people just get, be giving me bad vibes. If you bring them around me and they give me bad vibes, I'm going to tell so, you. I don't, I don't but what's so crazy is you be always right. Good. If I get vibes, I'll, I'll go off vibes. If you give me good vibes and I don't have nothing, I have nothing bad to say. But if you give me a bad, bad vibe, you definitely, I'm going to tell my friend I don't know about you. Right. And so, like, I say one of the keys to keeping a long lasting friendship is just really being real with one another. And know that things that said is not through 
like mischief or that's me I, my feelings always get hurt bro or anything especially for me because i'm one of those people it's black and white with me right? mm -hmm. i'm gonna tell you how i feel you don't, have to, point. you don't have to guess you don't have to think if i don't like it i'm gonna say i don't like it if i like it i'm gonna say i love it go for right. it do it i'm always supportive but if i'm don't like it i'll still tell you how i feel but at the end of the day you your, your own person if that's what you want to do i ain't got no choice but to support it 100 percent even right. if i don't agree on but it. sometimes that would be coming out harsh and i'd be like bitch i don't but, know how, i don't know how to not be like i just i don't know i appreciate it though because i didn't have so many people who just tell you what you want to hear and don't tell you what tell you, you need real. to hear you right. know I mean, I could be that type of person, but I'd rather not. We've been friends too long for me to sugarcoat right. anything. I should right. be able to tell you, like, hey, I ain't fucking with it. Oh, can I say that on your YouTube channel? I mean, fuck, you already said it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's the key to it all. And just having my back when I need you most. Like, if I call you, it don't be often I call her late at night, but... If she do, I already be knowing. It's something serious, like it's something serious going on if I call her late, like. But one thing I can't say, like, she always gonna like come through for me if I need her. Like, sometimes I be going through my own little motions with life, and she be coaching me through everything. And I be like, thank God, thank God for them, because it's some things that I talk to them now. I can't talk to other people about like my appearance or. My judge. significant other. It's just like certain things like is real sacred to me. And I feel like Devin just always, you know. She keep it 100 with me. So I love her for that. Matt too. Matthew too. Yeah. I wish she was here. I know. We're going to have to do another book bag with Matt. Yeah, because he's probably going to be jealous when you see this. Oh, sorry, Matt. Uh, <laughs> we love you. You know that. We love you. But I should definitely have to be. So Big sponsor us. <laughs> we know. We been we gonna do a mook bang for the the wings we every been time. Empire wings since he was on what Florida? What was that place called? Before Empire wings was, was even, even a restaurant. Like we was. Yes, he know. I'll never forget. We, we was all to the back door of the club, bro. I'll never forget on Florida. What's the name? What was the name of that club? Shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but. We gonna call me like, hey, it's we one of the hood clubs, but let me tell you something. We be outside, come get us from the back door and have our plate ready for us. Got us in the club, gave us drinks, get us the wings. Like, we was VIP when we came in, because we was the ones who brought the, brought the crowd in, you know? <laughs> no, but, no, we didn't. We was not boppers like that. Don't Y'all don't think don't think we was bopping like that. <clears throat> we just had to hook up a little bit. Yeah, um, we just had to hook up. but. Truth be told, I don't even know how we really like friends because we so <clears throat> opposite. Like Complete. even from my outfits. Let's show my outfits for the day. Well, hold on. Okay, so I, I don't count because I'm jeans and t-shirt and tennis shoes all day, every day. And my friend over here, she got to be all dressed up and g'd up every day. But this me. <laughs> I'm, I have got some jeans. No, on. I had to change my outfit because you still had on a dress though. I had on a dress, a fitted little dress like this, but it was white and it was getting stains and shit. So she I made up. I kind of make up, put some jeans on and a t-shirt on, some vans on, and I was like the dog. I waited 30 minutes for her to get dressed, and I started getting dressed after her. So yeah, we completely opposite. Completely opposite. But. Opposites attract, you know? True. That's true. We meant for each other. We definitely Yin to the yang, baby. She ain't going nowhere. I wish she would try to replace me. I'll beat her up. I might have to find a new <laughs> friend that live a little closer. Goodbye. Yeah. You probably. ain't going nowhere. Probably not. They I'm ain't gonna last long. I'm a little antisocial. Period, poo. I'm gonna last long. To be told. No one can take my place. I might have to tag somebody in it every once in a while. What? Oh no, we're not having it. What you talking about? You be replacing me, Flickside, with y'all. First of all, boo. Not replacing me. I've um, never replaced you. It's just I be kicking it with my with my Baton Rouge people. You know what I'm saying? I got my Baton Rouge clique that I hang with. Shout out to Kenitra. Shout out to Tia. Who else? I love Tia. Yeah, she loves Tia. You never met Kenitra, huh? Nisha, I, can't, I can't say I love you, but I love you. I was surprised she likes somebody for one. True. 
See, but if you met if you met Kanitra, you would like Kanitra too. She'll give me good vibes, so. Mm-hmm. She good people. I feel like my friend is safe with her. Yep. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Thank you. And see y'all next time. So bye, Devin. Bye y'all.